Yo, poets, you drop it when the pen clicks, and poets get a poppin' with the pen click. You now rock with Queen David, the pen click prime minister, out here with my brother Daniel, he's the chubby fat god. And today, he ain't a drama king, but if you got a problem thing, he can give you that rocky swing. We got the god, Yao Tremating, let's get it. So, I introduced myself to this white guy the other day. I told him my name is Yao, right? And then he said, oh, what a cool name. How do you spell that? I said, Y-A-W. To which he responded, oh, you mean Yao? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I meant Yao. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> when you introduced yourself to me as Aaron, did I look at you with dismay and ask, do you mean a Aaron? What made you think that you could question the pronunciation of my name? Do you feel that much entitled? And who taught you it was okay to feel this way, to act this way? Did you learn this oppressive behavior? Was it ingrained in you, passed down to you by your white ancestors? Did they provide you with a handbook, 25 ways to displace a black body, step one, Ooh. question their identity? Strip their name, make them forget their worth, their heirs, their roots. Well, guess what, dude? <laughs> as much as it may feel like it, this is not the 1600s. Our bodies do not belong to you. They are not for you to slit and twitch. Our names are not for you to fix and switch around whenever you please. We would not succumb to your oppression, whether blatant or subtle. Hey. Question my identity again, and I swear to God, you will not be ready for what is yet to come. Mm. Mm. Because what you do not know is that I, Nana Yao, or Safo Kantanka Chiamatin, come from a long line of West African warriors known as the Akan people, who created a day naming system to establish peace and unity amongst its people and decided that all Thursday male borns will be named Yao. So yes, there are a multitude of us, birthed and bred in a plethora of tribes, such as the Baule tribe, the Bono tribe, the Wasa, the Fante, the Achim, the Achid, the Ikriapim, the Ashanti tribes, and we are soaked in the blood of our black African ancestors, Ya Santua, Okonfuanoche, Mansa Musa, Yasani Munina, Bariasiha, and together, we will vanquish anyone who dares disrespect our lineage, so why don't you question my identity again mm. and this time we will not let you convince us to trade in our african brothers and sisters for your white jesus Ooh. let's go this time if you take without permission we will not sit and watch we will chase after you take back that which belongs to us make sure you're not doing some fucked up shit mm -hmm. on some far away land so let's try this again erin <laughs> Hi, my name is Yao. Yes, yes it is, Yo. dog. Let's go. Oh, welcome oh, yeah. to the pen click. Holy shit. Wow. We gotta like wave it out. We gotta wave it down. We gotta fan it down, man. Like spin that fire, bro. Hold up, hold up. Damn. Mind blown right now. Hell yeah. Welcome, yo. Thank Got you, that you, energy. He's like, you, 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 you. You're gonna give him the mic check? It's like, yeah, so this is gonna be uh, talking at this level. And then I'm like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no, we're peeking red. What the hell? Hey, hey, well, welcome, man. Let's so, jump right into it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's the first segment of the show Threads and Lines. This is all first verse. All first verse. You're about to get this work. Threads and Lines is the segment of the show where we investigate what are the threads of life experiences that tie together those lines of poetry, threads and lines. And to start off, like, Mr. Daniel Hees. Yeah, so got I got this? hit hard, right? Of course. Uh, white favorite, Jesus shit, segment. bro. Favorite let's part. go. Let's go. My yeah. favorite point. Uh, <laughs> Jesus was a black social revolutionary that Facts. was murdered for his fucking beliefs. Facts. Period. I don't know if he came back to life. That's for you to decide. Right. <laughs> but homeboy fucking was murdered for his fucking beliefs. And white Jesus is like an important like uh, point to make. Uh, all of the poem really are important things to to say. And but what a way to fucking set that up. Um, you do a lot of that weaving in names and titles and saying these things but yeah off rip bro white jesus like uh immediately 
that that line right there. So we will not let you convince us to trade in our African brothers and sisters for white Jesus. It hits you with all of the historical context right, of this. Right. The um, amount right, of yeah, history right. that's in that one line. Word, right. word. Right. That's hey. one line. Like, like, like what, what is it? Um, um, you made it a hot line. I made it a hot poem. That's what it is, bro. <laughs> yeah, cool. word. And this, okay, so, and it only lends. That one line not only sets up all of this context for the the historical context, um, what has happened colonially, all of these different right, things, right. but what's actually happening in the poem as well. Right. Like this is a poem about someone uh, stepping on your toes socially and being an asshole, essentially, right. socially, on a very base level. Another part that like really hits me is where you say like, we will not succumb to your oppression, whether blatant or it's subtle. subtle. Uh, again, demonstrating the history, how the history has gone from blatant fucking oppression, right. undeniable real oppression like uh, silencing names and histories mm -hmm. to this subtle thing of like that's not how you say your own name bro. right right don't tell me that <laughs> yeah word 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 yeah, yeah yeah so like what is that is that how much of that experience um inspired this piece or is yeah, it this gives us the historical context of like yeah where I've obviously colonized by the british um some of the things that white people brought like white europeans brought was education Christianity, uh -huh. um, and then they did that. It, it was called like the trade and butter, where they took, they gave, they took our gold and ivory and bronze and all, all those minerals, and then they gave us those things in in return. So they gave us like they built infrastructure and and you know gave us a lot of things. But Christianity was one of the main things that they brought. Christians are still big in Ghana, right? Absolutely. Um, we, we, we still utilize it. Um, Jesus is still white on the walls in the Catholic mm. churches. <laughs> wow. yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's still names of people who, um, some of the people who colonized West Africans, their names are still inscribed on the schools they build the buildings, and yeah. all that, right? And so that's kind of how it, it, it started. It's like, we're, we're gonna give you this Jesus, we're gonna give you all these resources, but we're gonna make sure that we know that we are the ones that gave you all, all, all these without like them even mention anything about the things they got in return, right? So with all the gold and all the minerals and stuff, so. And they're also like, I'm um, gonna, on, on top of that, they also leave a brand by forcing a Christian names upon you. Right, right, So right, like, right, like right, So, right, so right. What, I was what was dope about this is I also saw a parallel in like, um, in the Asian American community, the Asian immigrant community, in that uh, oftentimes, like, we'll have names that seem harder um, to pronounce for Westerners. Right. So then, like, oh yeah, so my American name is Michelle, right, and and like right. you said that you have a, but for you, it's a it's a Christian name, right? Right. Yes. So Yao is like is one of your names, but yeah, speak on that, like, like your so, Christian name. So my Christian name is Jason. Almost everybody has a Christian name. Christian Christianity is one of the biggest re religions in Ghana. Right. It's actually the biggest religion in Ghana. So okay. um, we all have Christian names, but we do have um, uh, Akan versions of our names, right? So they're not spelled in 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 in, in English al alphabets, right. right? So Jason is uh, Y A S O N instead of the J A S O N, mm -hmm. but people still pronounce it Jason. Jason. You know, my older brother is Patrick. My little, <laughs> my, my, my little brother is Tyrone. <laughs> like, um, and so we have all those names, but we also have uh, West African names that are more like prone to our identity, right? So and that's how you identify yourself. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So um, Thursday, uh, Yao means Thursday, uh -huh. um, and every day of the week has a name to it. So if you're born on a Thursday, you're Yao. If you're male, you're Ya. If you're female. Right, okay. and so bro, that makes it like that takes a lot of pressure off the naming process <laughs> yeah. too. Right. Yeah, right. it's like, what was it born? Is a boy? All right, cool. All right, we're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> boom, got it. So. Uh, what you see, though, you demonstrate too really well in this poem is what we see is the whole spectrum of this oppression. Not only do we know now, like the historical context of the atrocities that have happened for the past 2,000 years, really, right. like of uh, the oppression of white culture and white supremacy, ultimately. Um, but we see that demonstrated throughout this poem time and time again in a lot of different ways. Uh, you say in like the second stanza, 25 ways to displace a black body, step one, question their identity, strip their names, right. make them forget their worth there. So it's almost like uh, there is a suggestion of where each of these examples are in that process. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right, yes. part of it and is- And like them fucking up your name and like refusing to 
adapt to your the actual pronunciation of your name. Yeah, it's right. almost like it's an echo. It's of light that history. It's yeah. racism light. You know what I'm saying? It's right. strip your name light. It's right. I'm just gonna take it from you in casual conversation yeah. now. A lot of y'all because... might be like, "Oh, what's the big deal?" But no, get the name right, because dude, right. like, yeah. It, yeah. And on the other side, what's now, not understood yeah. is that there were people that were that in, that were introduced to white people or white culture. Mm -hmm. That white culture said, "Oh, your name is Yao." No, it's Yao. Right. And that's your fucking name right. now, bro. Right. Your name's right. Yah because I don't want to remember Yah. Right. So fuck you. Right. Like, and that's what they're doing. <laughs> that's exactly that's, what happened. Like in, yeah. in, in Roots, right? Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like, no, no, your no, me. no I right. can't say right. that, bro. And that's the most fucked up thing is like right. at, at what the most shallow point that mm -hmm. that is, is like uh, you have white people simply not wanting to make sounds with their mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, you just don't want to learn how to fucking say things right, a certain yeah. way, bro. I'm yeah. saying, like, Polchewski. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. like, yeah. like, 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 the like, educational like, process. Yeah. Was that like, what, what Lupita uh, Nyong'o was saying, that, like, oh, if, if they can pronounce... And they come out of time. All those, all those, yeah, yeah words. They words. Should words. be able to do yeah. that. Yeah, they're just not. You're, you're just not trying at, a, at, right. at, at some point, you know. But so. that is an important point to make. That um, whenever you do things like this, whenever you are saying like uh, or mispronouncing names, that is ultimately what you're doing to an individual. You are placing like oppression on them. You were telling them like, right. I'm going to decide how and what to call you. Right. Like what right. the fuck? Yeah. So this sounds like this is a, this is a common story that's been told through like many people in many cultures of like, right. yeah. So like, I came to the States and they fuck up my name all the time, especially in the Asian community where like, like, well, would you like, we'll just, we'll just adapt an American name. Just don't fuck with us. You know, right. like how, right. how yeah. certain people like out throughout certain generations will um, approach it differently. And I feel like in this era, 2019, with the a proliferation of information and ease of technology and ease of access of the information through the internet, right. there's less of an excuse for people to like right. not get it. This exact issue, like like when did you write this poem? 20 so I wrote this in 2016. Yeah. Um, but the whole incident happened in uh, 2009. Okay. So this is a straight up out your life. Right, exchange yes, you have. Yes. I was in I was in Iowa. Uh, Damn, A, -A Ron is real, bro. <laughs> right, his, no, his name is actually Aaron. Oh, uh, let's go. We so, see you. Uh, Shout out to the locking so, too. You better thank learn, you, dog. for that. But like, word, word. yeah, his name is actually Aaron, and uh, th th this was in Iowa. It was after the bars, and people always ask me so many different questions, mm -hmm. like you know. Have you killed a lion before? Oh, <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, no, have you? No. <laughs> like what? So so this is one of the many things. <laughs> They're asking that, that to you while you're wearing so like a Nike tech fleece. It's right. like, come on, bro. I'm like, what are you talking about? So and, <laughs> and, and the thing is, so many people just were genuine and just wanted to know. Yeah. Right. So all of my years, I just I just, you know, took my time to answer questions. Mm. Sometimes I, 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 I joked around, right? People ask me how to pronounce my name all the time, mm -hmm. right? And when I tell them, right, the, the, the difference is that some people actually try to, to, to pronounce it, mm -hmm. but when I tell this person how I pronounce my name, <laughs> yeah. They were like, actually, I think this is what you're trying to say. <laughs> wow. You mean? Wow. Right? And so that's what switched everything. So I was like, oh, so you are not trying to listen to what I'm trying to say at all. You have a different perception of what you think should sh should be uh, the way to pronounce my name, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why I went into the whole um, whiteness historical thing because it, it just gave me the impression that oh like white is right right mm, yeah like, word, word, in word. a certain you know atmosphere where this is this is how I, I, I approach things and so, or even it like you're only gonna get niceties and common courtesies from me if you're willing to like stay right. in line and right, do right, and do right. play by my rules you know what I'm saying right. so when right. I call you uh, ya for the fifth time I want you to be okay with that you know what I'm right, saying right, like what right. bro what the right. fuck yeah. so, or we can just sit here for two minutes and say my name together and then you'll never say it <laughs> right. so this happened in 09 you said right. but yeah. it wasn't until 2016 that you actually wrote the poem right, right. so like yeah. what, so what's the gap <clears> there yeah. like what happened there why so, are you sitting on this experience for 12 years I know then? I know so I wasn't I wasn't really um, into poetry writing I was mm. more of a performer so I performed other people's work whether it was poetry drama or prose um, I didn't really start writing until grad school which was okay. 2014 um, 2013 2014 I graduated in, 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 in 2014 so I wrote a lot of poems in in one of my poetry classes that I took mm. um, and so once I moved to LA and I was like, oh, people are actually using their own personal experiences mm -hmm. to, um, 
to 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 write poems to express and to express themselves and to you know um, do wh whatever they can with their art. And so that's when I started using my own experiences and then writing a lot of poems about my own experiences. And that's honestly the first time I wrote this and performed this is the first time I felt good about this, right? Like, mm. it's, oh, always, wow. it's always been ingrained in my head, in my brain, like, th this was messed up. This frustrating right? experience. This is frustrating, but every time I do it, I'm like, there are so many people in the audience that think like that. Yeah, right? word. Right, wow. and so yeah. every time- it's calling I, it out. I perform it, even though I wasn't, and, and that's the thing, I, I did correct him, with, with with an attitude, but I wish I could do this whole poem in front of this person. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Um, All right, Aaron, if you're listening, <laughs> get Yao's name right, bro. This is about you. Word, word. <laughs> but that is such like an important thing because as poets, we're often. Uh, we're often like diminished with that thought like, oh, they just preach to the choir and that's all they do. Mm -hmm. But it is important to say like, you know what? I know that this poem is going to affect somebody in the audience right, that yeah. is Aaron. Right. That yeah. is one of those motherfuckers right. that is like now going to shut their mouth and right, be like, yeah. maybe I should just ask again. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And it's not even just for the Aaron's. It's for, it's for the Yao's. There's so many yeah, people that yeah, come, yeah, to, yeah. come up to me too and then tell me, thank you for this. You know, yeah. um, I've always like experience stuff like that but haven't been able to express it Word. But then, so they always say like just listening to it just helps yeah and we right? see you that is the flip to that argument you know what i'm right. saying like we ain't preaching to the choir dog we singing right. with the choir bro and just because you ain't part of the choir it's because you ain't cool enough so just move on bro just mind your own <laughs> so so right quick own. yeah um was wondering uh if you could tell any of our younger listeners like if they're going through this exact struggle of like people just fucking up their name but this is the name that they're called at home right you know like, like what like what advice could you give these kids that like, like what if they're going through this like what should they tell the other person like how can they go about it without seeming like a dick honestly uh or be a dick man fuck him <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i was like at some point right like what i tell people right now is if you ask a question that Google, Google can answer. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ask Google first. Ask, ask, ask Google first before you ask me, right? Um, but I think it's it's important for everybody to understand how important our identities are to our, our being. Um, and so if somebody mispronounces you, you, your name, do not just say, okay, sure. Uh, right, like right. it's it's important to correct them because oh, correct, correct. yeah, jump. right, right away, right, because it's the little things that lead to like violence and you right. know like you give them an inch, they take a mile, right, yeah. right, exactly. So yeah. do not be afraid to correct them right away because if you correct them, it automatically takes the power back into your hands. If you don't, then it gives them the power to think hey. that they're able to. Um, tell you yeah. how to pronounce your name, right? Real quick, before we move on though to the two piece, can you hit him with your full name, Yao? Yes, uh, Nana Yao Osafo Kantanka Chramatin. Poetry, dog. Let's go. Yeah. My name is Poetry. Let's <laughs> go, bro. Get it. Yeah. yeah. Move right. on. Off the threads and lines, and on to the two piece. Yes, sir. Two piece combo. The two piece combo is where we review two pieces of poetry, one off of Instagram and one off of YouTube. Today's YouTube piece comes from the Write About Now YouTube channel with none other than Mecca Morphosis. Yes, Mecca. With the poem Duck You Autocorrect. <laughs> Uh, at the Texas Grand Slam 2018, and a fun fact, uh, yeah, what, what, what's, what's, what about her outfit? You said that uh, she was wearing. Oh what? yes, yeah, she was wearing my shoes, my 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 dress shoes, just cause it fit her aesthetic so well. Hey. Uh, Didn't fit so. her feet, but it fit the aesthetic. <laughs> and that's what matters. Yes. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Hey, Mecca always out there doing it for the fit too. Yo, like, visual, always uh, like, Ooh, yo, visual hey. artistry. That's what we, we, mm. we see you. We see you for sure. Hey. All right. Not you autocorrect. You keep playing with me, keep acting like I ain't said what I said, no phone. I said nigga, not night, nigga, I said slave, not space. You keep messing up my poem. Mm -hmm. You keep acting like the white people who made you try mm -hmm. to change my conversations to what you thought was right, wrong. Ooh. Got my Ooh. tongue, got my tongue, feeling imprisoned in my phone like I'm about to catch a case. 
but let me not. <laughs> hey, she does like a really fun thing there, and I don't always like it, but I really like what she just did. Uh, the you got my tongue, the the repeating. I like whenever it seems frantic. But rehearsed, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, and yeah. And that's yeah, really what it feels yeah, like yeah, here. Yeah. It feels like, oh, that was intentional. That was planned. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like a, oh shit, I forgot, and now I gotta, oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> like, oh no, it was actually like a part right. of the piece. And you can do that, but just do it well. That's yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're so. seeing her really do that well. Trying to change my conversations to what you thought was right, wrong. Got my tongue. Got my Nothing. tongue. Manorisms. Feeling imprisoned in my phone, like I'm about to catch a case. Well, let me not, because ain't it to be black? Look back at a sentence and see something wrong. Ooh, hey, yes, yeah. catch a case. <laughs> hey, bro. With the sentence. Ain't, yeah, bro. Bars, ain't let's, let's go. Let's, let's fucking catch go. Oh my God. Got my tongue. Got my tongue. Feel like imprisoned in my phone. Like I'm about to catch a case. Well, let me not. Cause ain't it to be black? Look back at a sentence and see something wrong. Something not add up. Supposed to say 10 days, but now you got 10 years in the auto correctional facility. That is my whole plan. Oh, <laughs> correctional facility. Like Let's lightweight go. wordplay too. Like yeah, that's lightweight. super lightweight. That's super like uh almost like camp. Like but, ooh, that's, but right, fucking right, right. Ooh, the weight there, bro. The weight right. with that lightweight. It's a jab. Shit. It's a jab. You know? Duh. It's a jab. Black. Look back at a sentence and see something wrong. Something not add up. Supposed to say 10 days, but now you got 10 years in the auto correctional facility. That is my whole plan. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Come on, knight. Ah, uh, nigga. <laughs> You, you are the white friends I don't have. Mm -hmm. Always correcting my Ebonics while using it. Want me to chill mm -hmm. on that black talk because they want a good night, a safe space. They want a black person who corrects themselves in the presence of whiteness automatically. Tell me why. Oh, Bro, like, like the little tiny setup to such a big fucking hit. Like such a, uh, to use night to like, uh, oh my gosh. Such a big setup for like, Effective. yeah, like then when she brings it back around right there, it's such a fucking mm -hmm. hard guttural hit. Like, damn, fire. Talk because they want a good night, a safe space. They want a black person. Oh, I get a good night. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. 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 For sure, for sure. Yeah. Tight, yeah. tight. Put themselves in the presence of whiteness automatically. Tell me why. A, good, a safe sleep. Every time I tell you my name is Mecca, you ripping the whip and ask, did you mean Megan? No! Mm. Where are your settings? Stop this! Hold on, hold on. Oh. Let me just say that like, that was like a three second That was pause. a long pause. Right. But the fact that like, but she wrote to that. And like she was, uh, she allowed for that, for that, for that, for that crowd. But she knew uh, the crowd was gonna pop to that shit. Yes, yeah. That's fine. I don't fuck with that. I fuck with right. that. I she fuck did. with that with the fact that like she knew that like, oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna rock with this one. <laughs> and what <laughs> so else you stop. also see though there is right before there you see this big performance moment for yeah. her mm -hmm. where that's a hard beat to hit. That's like something. That's a dangerous thing to put into your piece. Mm -hmm. Like right. I'm gonna have to commit to doing this right every fucking time that I do this piece. Right. And that's a big like no, it's a big giant theatrical thing. She's like sitting in it, and it's allowing her like to get her bearing again. Right. Like, yeah. Right, you cool. have to plant that in order to like get that um, uh, re re response. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She knows take that, that response off, is yeah. gonna. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take that payoff because I just did that work, and now I'm gonna move on to the rest right. of the yeah. shit. Yeah. Megan, no! Let it marinate. Where are your settings? Stop this! Autocorrect just wants paradise. No, privilege. Autocorrect mm. just wants order. No, ownership in a news mm. where every black face is autocorrected into a mugshot in a neighborhood where justification is autocorrected into reestablished in history where history is autocorrected by the victors and politics who the only thing that flips autocorrect all white allies and I say no Ooh. I say I am correct I am right answer I am what I am I said what I said nigga <laughs> and would you look at that my phone finally says nigga and I'm starting to think it shouldn't everything bro like the struggle beyond the struggle you right. know what i'm saying right. like oh man that's so fucking 
Right. Yee, let's go, Mecca. Go follow her at Mecca Morphosis. M E C C A Morphosis. Go get yes, it. Mecca. She's doing it. And she's fun to follow, for real, for real. <laughs> On the two piece combo, we review every piece with a slam score out of 10. And yeah, Mr. Yao is like, since you were there. <laughs> so, first of all, um, slam rules say that uh, you can't know, like, the judges can't know the poet that they're scoring. Otherwise, know, yeah. that poet gets disqualified. So, off rip. No matter what you're going to score, she's going to get DQ'd. But that being said, <laughs> Mr. Yao, even though it's like she's borrowing your shoes and shoes, like maybe that's right. also points. Might have to give us like additional points. How would you score this piece? Like, how does it make you feel, and how does, how would you score it? This this poem is very personal to me. So, uh, and it's kind of similar to the Yao poem actually yeah. because it's it's just a, a different version of correction and all that. Mm -hmm. um, nine point nine. Okay. Yee. Where does the point one get shaved off? Um, there, there, there are parts where the audience was still going, where I think that like some some words were missed. Oh, uh, and so okay. she tried okay. hard to like stop when when they were um, cheering. It's a big um, crowd too. Yes, it's a big crowd, but I think it's because uh, there there's a time limit, and so mm. you gotta get she, it in. Yeah, you you just gotta get make sure you, you you get it in. But there are some parts where I'm, I've listened to this poem so many times, so now okay. I know all the words. Okay. Um, but the first time, oh, I you even knew the like performance here, here, cues. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You. Yes. So uh, yeah, but I feel like. Especially in poetry, it's all about the language, and so we, we got to hear every single word. Every single and that's word that speech them. game, dog. That's right. how it's for yeah. game. Yeah. Right. Like I did that oration and speech shit, and like that's the one thing that uh, gets lost in uh, spoken word sometimes, mm -hmm. or really not translated or carried over from right. that. Right. Is that yeah. uh, it's important to enunciate your words and to make sure that your words are what you're standing. On. Right. Right. That your performance yeah. is important. Your story is important. Uh, all of the components are important, but your words are what need to be heard right. and said. Right. So. Just because she like, you know what I'm saying, didn't that yeah. crowd step on? She mm. loses a little point just, one. Just, just, just point one. She's also a peer one. and a competitor. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? Y'all may have to go against you at some well, point. I got to put this eye on you. So I was like, yo. Let just let you know it's yeah, friendly, yeah. but it's still like that. It's still like that. What's up, Mecca? Bra, 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 hey. bra. I think uh, what we're all really doing is explaining why we think this is a 10 or a 9.9. .9. That's right. really what but this is. Yeah, pretty much is like what it comes down to. For yeah, it's, it's a strong fire piece. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Grand Slam is like they pull nothing but aces out there. Yeah. 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 It's nice uh, too because all the content they've released this year has all been like affirmations of Texas Grand Slam. Yeah, like it's, it's still lit. It is still it's like awesome. a super but important dope I, fucking spot. I wonder for if they like if they, if there are like okay pieces that just vault and they're just dropping all the aces. Who gives a fuck though, Don? If the aces are there, I don't give a fuck about the people that lost Texas Grand Slam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm saying like, like that's a, that's like a particular like like a uh, YouTube rollout strategy that like yeah, some yeah, places yeah. employees like like all right like you only got a seven all right. Yeah, word, word. Uh, no, they do ask you if you want your video okay. up. Yeah, so they ask for consent. All right, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, yeah, they so have there to. are some people that would probably be like, "Sorry, I don't, I don't want my, yeah, my, my even my if it's a ten, up. it's like nah." Yeah, there are probably some good videos that are not online just because pe people don't want other people mm. to see that yet, or you know. So yeah, hey, yeah, with the live commentary, bro. Hey, let's yeah, go sorry. in the cuts. <laughs> in yeah. the cuts. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna like agree with Yao. I'm gonna give her a nine point nine um, because I don't think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, Sure. It's dope. It's fucking dope as fuck. But there are a couple things in the performance. I feel like uh, that was a long pause. If I was in room for that pause, I would have been like, Ooh. okay. Man, that's y'all. That's y'all. That's y'all. Yeah, by the, time, the, same. By the time that like I question it, it would already have been resolved. You know what I'm saying? But right, there would right. have been the opportunity for me to be like, what's hap? Okay, never mind. And I think it might have low key been like a, a recovery. Like it might have been like that was a big performance moment. Where am I in this piece? That's where I am in right, this piece. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I low key think it might have been that. Uh, all said and done though, like all nine point right. nine, dog, all day, all day. <laughs> the rest of it's dope. The fit's good. I see you, Mecca. Let's go. Let's if only get we can it. see the shoes. Let's get it. Dog. <laughs> Yo, so so real talk, like, like like the whole pause thing. It's like no, I'm I'm, I'm rocking with that. Like yeah, because because like, on, on some battle rap shit, it's like when you when you uh, hit like that haymaker, that room shaker. Yeah. it's like you. You gotta let the crowd like hype you up because that just makes you look all the much better. Right, and it's right, not right. like she left the pause right. with nothing. Facts. It's not like it was just quiet and right, she clearly yeah. forgot. It was like right. I'm gonna sit. You in gotta this let moment. a punchline resonate. You know. No, I feel I feel you. I feel, so I feel that. So no, I fuck with that part. Uh, 
so it, it, um when when you're like in battle rap there's like there's two forms of judging there's in the building and on cam is, is how they call it okay so in the building because like the, the sheer energy yeah. and like the performance like that's a 10 performance to me mm-hmm. right but then um and then like like just like the wordplay like of of autocorrect and using that as a poetry device right, right, throughout right, right. brilliant uh but then like like i if, if i was to like to be super critical about it it's like there were like if I, this is my first time hearing it, there were things that like I didn't uh, really pick up in, in my ear because like mm-hmm. oh it's just fast. Yeah, but, but, that, but that's just me. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um. But now, nah, but but in the building, yeah, I give that a ten. Damn. Okay. So it's like it's like it, it hits like a lot of the things that I love, like 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 the wordplay shit, like the performance shit, like even even like just hitting the haymaker. Like for me, a, t- a perfect piece like has that room shaker. Right. Yeah, just yeah, like gets right, the crowd right. going wild. And to see a poet like push their words out and yeah. shit is always mm-hmm, like dope. Like mm-hmm. say that shit like you mean it, dog. Like that's what you fucking here for. Right. Like like I wish like on some Tay Rock shit. I just wish you would just like. That shit. Like, yeah, I said I that. that. I bro. said I fucking I said love that said. shit. Fucking she did do that. Shit. No, she did do all yeah, that, dog, did. with she all did. of the shit that she, she did. Had like, she had like a big ass gold chain, but like, bah, bah, and just she see the that. shit like that's all bang I saw. On chest. I just saw the mecha version of that happen. You know what I'm saying? It's all the same. <laughs> Moving on to the second part of the two-piece combo where we look up the first piece that comes up under the hashtag poetry on Instagram. And today's piece comes from his chosen one underscore. And yeah, posted 28 seconds ago. It's Fresh. Genuine. Oh, wow. Fresh. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right, so Mr. Yao, if okay. you would do us the honors of reading this piece. All right, let me see if I can get closer to this. All right, so the unforeseen rainbow. You lost her. She would have never given up on you. The one person who loved you in this world. The one who did not want to know life without you. She was your gift, although it was hard to be with her sometimes. She was worth it. She was worth every bit of it. So when you remember me, remember that it wasn't my choice. It was yours. Hmm. You gave me away. You unknowingly lost the rainbow of your life (laughs) of all the storms. And his chosen one underscore for sure. His chosen one. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, bro. I think I just gave my score right now. So. No, 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 no. I don't think I need to give no, 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 a score no, 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 anymore. I'm, I'm gonna run that back, like back to lunch, right? So, I, so, 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 like, uh, so, so when you remember me, remember that it wasn't my choice. It was yours. Oh, it's your fault. You, you gave, gave me, me away. <laughs> oh, yo, come on, come on. You unknowingly <laughs> you get, lost you gave me away. the rainbow of your life. You unknowingly lost the rainbow of, oh my days. Of your life. Rainbow of your life in, in the, the midst, midst of, of all, all the, storms. the storms. Okay, well, all right, all right. That's oh, fuck that. you, David. Don't you do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like, so, so not real talk. It's like um, the one person who loved you in this world. So you know what love also reminds me of a uh, sweet tarts, you know, the little candies. And that uh-huh. comes in a rainbow array of colors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and okay. Then, oh, and then, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, um, uh, she was your gift, and as we all know, gift wrapping paper that also like rainbow colors. Okay. Boom. So uh, two times with the rainbow, okay. the unforeseen rainbow. Oh. And then um, although it was hard to be with her, sometimes she was worth it. Maybe depending on the country, like in the Philippines, like the money comes in multiple colors. It's like so money over there in the Philippines is like hella, like yeah, hella colors. It's a rainbow, bang. And then um, <laughs> she, she was worth every bit again. Going to like the worth, like maybe she's in a different country, like 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 Denmark or Germany. Oh, like, different. Colors. Yeah, different colors yeah, of money. Yeah, boom. So different colors of the rainbow because of different... And she's um, worth it. Yeah, facts. And then, uh, so when you remember me, because, you know, from she to me, then, you know, that's the metamorphosis of the rainbow because the rainbow, you know, it changes as, like, as like, your perspective as you go through the prison. And they don't lights. choose it. You yeah, know what facts. I'm saying? So, boom. They just become, like, uh-huh. they're, they're white light and then they become right. rainbow light. Yeah, exactly. So that's why it goes from... from So that's, like, the metamorphosis of going from white uh-huh. light to rainbow, right? So from she to me, boom. And then, uh, remember that it wasn't my choice. It was your uh, you, you gave me know. away. You unknowingly lost the rainbow of your life. So we all tied together. So that validates that me is rainbow of your life. So mm-hmm. life, because as all we we all remember, life cereal. The the logo of life cereal is rainbow A leprechaun. colors. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not. It's like, it's like I know. black cereal is the rainbow color. So you know, clearly there's a triple entendre flow because you, you know life. Times, right? You know life because you know cereal. You have and to, breakfast is the most important thing of the day. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and therefore when you eat life I cereal, that is the most most like, most important rainbow. <laughs> a point. <laughs> it's a three. A three? Yeah, there was effort in there, bro. There was legit you. effort. There's like a like, lot. Of, a lot of sentences doesn't mean effort, but I feel you. Yeah, it's not like. <laughs> No, it was, <laughs> I feel you. It's all right. It's all right. Like, like it's 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 not it's not great, but it's okay. I don't want to be too mean right now because you're clearly hurting, chosen one. Facts. Like you're clearly in a bad place, and I really hope that like you're fucking worth it, bro. You're dope. You're at least making poetry. Shouts out to you putting the rainbow emoji in your title. Mm. Let's go. I appreciate that. Uh, keep writing stuff, but. Uh, one, the uh, rainbows are meant to be the, you know why rainbow is brilliant because it goes away and you can miss it and it's there for a second and, and then, then, you then can it's gone. You can touch it. You can, yeah. like, you can chase it forever. It's you not a thing it. you can. No, hold on. Maybe this piece is fine. Hold on. Wait, come it's, on. Come on. <laughs> so like, that's why rainbows are dope, right? Like it just exists for this fire. moment. Right. Uh, to have a rainbow of your life, the fuck does that mean? Unless it's right. a double rainbow. Like if he said double no, rainbow maybe, of your life, maybe bro, it's a, I'm, I'm dead, bro. I'm done. I'm with you. You, you know what to say? Like, 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 let us never achieve our goals because when you achieve your goals, then like you don't have much to live for. So like the rainbow of your life is a goal that you always want to like, you know, better yourself. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that you can never That is obtain. the weakest you know metaphor. Because that is the is weakest, <laughs> silliest metaphor. What Yo, the fuck I'm, I'm does rainbow? Give him of the death. <laughs> you know what rainbow of your life sounds like? Some like fucking Yo, 80s Western pop rainbow. lyric that somebody fucking wrote geeked out of their head, dog. Like rainbow right, yeah. of your life. Like what the fuck? Okay, what cocaine were you on when you wrote that? I feel like the I feel like Let's go, yeah. I, I feel like Talk that shit. <laughs> okay, so I feel like rainbows choose when or when not to appear. Ooh, right? Okay, Ooh. right. And so maybe she she is the you know rainbow of his life. Uh, maybe they're not meant to be together. Maybe they're meant you know he's just meant to like think about you know her, and then it disappear. If I think I I think I I almost like agree with you. It's like. If you're gonna use the metaphor rainbow, then you can't. It can't. It's not. Make it like be that about being a fucking rainbow. <laughs> Make it be something that rainbows <laughs> do or represent or right, are. Right, right, yeah, I'm, yeah. Just because we like things, you can't just put like what is rainbow it? of your life is like saying Reese's pieces of your life. That applies to people that really fuck with Reese's pieces. You know what I'm saying? But unless you really fuck with rainbow and think rainbows are great, it's confusing <laughs> and stupid. Like hey, what right. the fuck, bro? I just for the what does rainbow to of your so, life you know, mean? Right, 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 yeah. So, but what is an unforeseen rainbow? Let me ask you that. Are all rainbows unforeseen? <laughs> Yo, you're an X man if you know when rainbows are coming. Yo, yo, in downtown LA, six in spring, there will be a rainbow. Bro, imagine though how dope game would be if you could be like, "Hey, girl, stop real quick and look to the left. There's gonna be a rainbow in 12, 11, boom, rainbow. Boom. I'm out. Yeah, I'm the rainbow yeah, master. Title. Fucking, I'm the rainbow of your heart. So, that's, so, so that's, a, that's a foreseen rainbow. The but. only time that rainbow of your heart ever makes sense is if you have superpowers and can predict where rainbows occur, and then you could use it as a pickup line dog that's the only time you should ever say yeah. rainbow of your heart all right like, mr dad if you don't feel so so strongly about here. this what would you give the slam score i'm mad because they made uh we made Yao read all of this <laughs> <laughs> This is a lot of words for an Instagram poem. First of all, this is not really a poem. It is, it, you know what? I'm sorry. This is a poem. It's a bad poem. That's what this is. I, this is a poem. I do think this is a poem. Yeah. Yeah. There's things happening here that make it a poem. No, like, there, there's, a, there's a tweet that like, uh, that kind of changed my mind about, I saw it pretty much saying that if someone presents it as a poem, then it is a poem. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Um, <laughs> it changed my mind. No, I understand. And like, there is attempt here, but it's like, yeah, Just unforeseen mean, rainbow. Even though it's world. a black and white photo background, it, yeah, yeah, it's a rainbow. Sure, like God bless you, because I feel bad show. because I have never laughed out loud in the oh, middle of yeah, a yeah, you oh, have it. No, no. <laughs> don't be mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But oh, rainbow me, of your life, you. bro. Rainbow of your life. I was supposed bro. to make you a moat. I a fucking and obviously did something for you, a bro. Fucking one point nine, a one point nine, and I'm done. I'm never gonna think about the wow. unforeseen rainbow again. I'm gonna let this fucking leave my brain. Good well, job, though. That's Keep not trying. even the lowest Keep score that we've ever had. So oh, it's, it's yeah, right. whatever, bro. <laughs> it's, I, I, this, this segment of the show, it happens. Yeah, so I'm gonna say a one point nine because it is a poem. You are doing things. Shouts out to the fucking rainbow emoji and the shit. Keep writing. Shout out to Yao, constantly rereading this to find the beauty. 
uh, yeah, I'm trying piece. to I'm trying to figure out if the metaphor of the rainbow started from the beginning, right? So when 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 she, when this person says okay. you My lost man, yeah. her, like are they talking about? No, uh, he flips the perspective. Right. No, he no, no, becomes no. the rainbow at the end. No, no, but she, he's talking no, no, about her. You, you lost her. So is so I thought this was like like the woman talking about. Oh, you lost her. Her talking about herself. Herself, right? But that could be so. The her, the her could be the rainbow. I'm trying to figure out how that works because you lost her. Do we lose rainbows or do rainbows just again disappear? every single rainbow that we ever have we right. lose and right. they disappear? Right. So you lost her. She Yo, our man is really going through the rigor of studying in this the piece. Shout out to Yao. My my only thing here is that like it changes the tense, so it was like second person throughout. Until That's your only thing? <laughs> 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 like, what? Like, what? Yo, 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 let him run, let him cook, no, let him cook. Let I'm him sorry, I'm sorry. The thing that bugs me is that it was, it was second person throughout until it said... Yeah, it gets confusing at that. You know, uh, uh, so when you remember me, I think it would have been... It wasn't my in, ...interesting choice. to keep, so when you remember her... Mm. Right, and then it just wasn't keep, her choice. You know, uh, yeah, exactly. I think that it was yours. She, I mean, you gave her away. Wow, that was you very surgical. You lost bro. the I, rainbow I of yeah. your life in the midst of all the storms. So, Mr. Yao, out of ten, Mr. Chema Ting, let's go. I actually haven't really, ha I've really seen anybody use a rainbow as a metaphor. Uh, like you know, like at all, actually. Okay. Uh, like in in the whole, like try. I've not seen anybody try to use a rainbow as a metaphor for the whole poem. I think she tried. Did the she? whole poem? The but whole poem. So, wait, wait, so, so, so like, where? The rainbow comes in at the end. That's pretty much it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's it. And, and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying she tried to, but I, I don't think she succeeded. Um, and so. I'm like, if you're gonna use the metaphor, then you, you like use it. And if it, if it's also in the title, then it's like, yeah. Now, now you you want you want me to know that you're using you committed the rainbow as a yeah as as a metaphor. You pot committed. Um, Better do some rainbow so shit right yeah, now. Yeah, it's it's like a so out of ten. I think I think it's a good message. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be nice, yo. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it. Because I, f I feel like this was half ass. I'll just give it a five. I you are five. generous, yeah. I'll give it a five, yeah. You are generous, man. You are a gentleman, All right, sir. Um, so moving on to the final segment of the show, Five for Your Eye. Hey. One, two, three, four, five. So we gave Yao here uh, five words. Yeah. He had to use them in a poem, any style, any format, really anything you wanted to do. You just had to use all five words. So we gave him source. Mm -hmm. Holler. <laughs> Holler. Contest. Soar. And brave. Let's go. So this is what he brought in. Any format, any style. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go. It is you who harmonizes my breathing. You, my protector. My long lasting provider and director. The source of my living. I realize this voice cannot sing on key without your conducting. So off I go. Hold on to my absence like a present. Hug my mm. silence in your loneliness. Hollow my body into a halo and holler at my name in the most hollow places. Mm. Take my distance with you. Not as a hindrance, but as an act of self-reconfiguration. I want to learn to love me more than I love you so I can wholeheartedly love you more than I love you now. Hey. So please understand. Let me test this contest without your context. Whew. Let me open my heart and slap it into a furnace. Let me light it up and watch my heart burn. I promise I will save myself. I will be brave in this wave of rage. Let me soar through the source long enough for the wound to resurrect from ash to body. Hmm. And when I'm whole, when I've finally given my, myself a chance to accept all of me, you will appear before me once again, and I will see you, I will hold you, and I will love you more than I ever have, with no strings attached. Let's Damn. go in all the field, right in the field. All the way down, Hell and yeah. now we back to like this warm place. Let's Hell go, yeah. yo. 
I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was like, thank you for coming on to the pen click, bro. We appreciate you, guys. Of course, of course. Word. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for doing this. Oh yeah. Where can the people get at you? Uh, you can find me on IG Yowza22 Y-A-W-Z-A 2-2 mm-hmm. mm, Let's go Go and follow You're doing all kinds of shit You're always slamming You're always doing right, right. All this stuff So go give them a follow Y'all go peep game Yes sir hey. And you know where you can find us PenClick at Instagram On Facebook At PenClick P-E-N-C-L-I-Q-U-E Hollow us at Twitter At The PenClick Long story But you know what it is And yeah, yeah Give it to us Yeah 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 Just give it to us bro Just give us the handle for real we yeah. are the real pen click yeah. LLC and all of that let's go hey, real let's facts go, give go. it to mother duckers shout Hell out yeah. Mecca <laughs> hey. shout out Mecca <laughs> and for all internet things be sure to follow us online at penclick.net Yes, sir. And uh, Mr. Chubby Fat God, where can they reach you, sir? Uh, you can follow me at Foreseen Rainbow. I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, <laughs> where? Uh, go Forget out. the Chubby Fat. It's yeah. not, it's like all channels are now relocated to Foreseen Rainbow. Uh, no, sure. you could see everything we're doing. If you want to laugh, God, if you want to. Let him live, bro. Yeah. Let him live. <laughs> If you want to go see all the dumb shit we doing over at Chubby Fat, please go do that at the Chubby Fat. We doing lit comedy stuff. We getting high in the essentially here. We're getting really high and then doing silly shit. So bless the gods and balance duality. I see y'all. Duality. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. Thank bless you all so guys. much for having me. Uh, yeah. Hey. Please go write a poem. For sure. Perfect. <laughs> bro, you used holler. Let's go, bro. <laughs> you, you actually used it. <laughs> That was one of the best parts of the book. It's oh, weird because no. like if I got this list, I would be like, holler bro, I'm writing some dumb shit. I'm writing like a comedy piece or a comedy, right? Yeah. yeah.